Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are inside my makeup drawer. So here is my mascaras, my brow products, and my lash glue. Cream blushes take out all of this outer and middle section. Um, my cream bronzers right here and my concealers. So I'm working on a new setup. I still haven't gotten the pieces I need from it. I'm still waiting for them to come back in stock. Um, but this is definitely going to change, hopefully, in the near future. But the desk I'm waiting on has been in, out of stock for, I want to say, months at this point. So I'm really hoping they can get it in stock soon so I can rehaul this whole setup I have going on. Because I hate pulling out these drawers when I'm filming. And sometimes I forget stuff. So, um, But today we're going to be decluttering my concealers so let's go ahead and get all of this stuff out these are all my concealers and then we're gonna go ahead and sit down on the floor and have a moment I have more <laughs> and I have more it's never ending so that's all my concealers one more back there okay so we're going to go ahead and sit on the floor and get started with these and hopefully whew, make some progress. Okay, so I had thought originally to take these on the floor and I don't know, I just changed my mind about that. I'm just, I just put them in this other separate container. I think I'm just going to put back what I want to keep and kind of do it that way because... I don't like moving my camera around so much. It's really, really annoying. Getting set up takes me way too long. So I'm just going to pull out things I want to keep in that sort of a situation. And then so and then we'll talk about everything that I'm getting rid of. So I definitely want to keep my Tarte Shape Tape. This one it only has about that much left. Um, these two are the same shades. Yes. Or, oh, no. Nope, they're both the same. They're both light, medium sand. But this one has more than this one. This one's almost on its way out. I had two open because I had one at my boyfriend's house and then one at my house. And um, we moved in together. So now I had two. I should probably just try and use up this one. Just leave that one on my desk. Wait, I forgot these from... Oh, okay. Yeah. I had these from um, Milani. I got two shades. I, got, I have three shades total, but I got two shades that don't work for me. A lighter shade and then a pinky undertone shade that don't work for me. I already got rid of those, so um, I am trying this one right now currently. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put that one in there. Um, this shade does work for me. This is a shade 120 Vanilla. It is a little too light for me, but I wouldn't mind mixing this one with another shade, so I just need to get another shade. Get my fourth shade. <laughs> Actually, I'm liking it so far though. Um, one I'm gonna get rid of is this e.l.f. concealer. This is the Flawless Brightening, Brightening Concealer. I've heard really good things from a bunch of people and honestly, um, I'm not really a fan. I don't think this foundation, I'm sorry, this um, concealer really did anything for me. Um, you have to use a bunch for it to like brighten um, and really show up. And for this type of packaging, um, it only has 0 0.07 ounces. I'm pretty sure that's like the size of a mini. I mean, this mini from Too Faced has double the amount of product. Um, anyways, this collection has a lot of product anyways in it originally. But still, I just feel like you're not getting a lot of product for these. And then it's not very good. So... I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. It just doesn't have the coverage I prefer. Um, and then I got two shades. I got these two shades first and they were too dark. And then I got this light shade. And it's just, mm, it's just not my preferred formula. I, I, like, I wanted to make them work. But just trying to be honest with myself, I'm not going to use these. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these. I don't know where to put them. Ah, I didn't think that one through. I'm going to throw them on top of my desk for now. <clears throat> Definitely keeping this Dior. 
um, skin per skin correct forever skin correct um, in the shade twin it's a good shade um, at first I really really loved it but then I got to using my old favorites and then this one doesn't seem as good anymore so it's not a bad foundation I'm sorry a bad concealer I keep saying foundation it's not a bad concealer but it's not worth the price tag so but I'm keeping because I did pay for it um, another favorite of mine this has been my like recent favorite. This is the Kaja. I don't know what it's called, but this is the Waffles shade. Um, this may be the only concealer they have right now, but I love this concealer. It's a really good concealer. The undertone's perfect. The coverage is very like medium full coverage. Um, so so good. I freaking love it. Oh, the Don't Settle concealer. So so good. Recent favorite right now. Um, so so nice. The Tarte Shape Tape is like my full coverage. That is like my medium full coverage. So more of like an everyday, you know, style. Um, the other ones I'm keeping are my e.l.f. ones where these are the, I could have sworn I had the creamy one as well. Oh, there it is. This is the um, e.l.f. Camo 16 Hour Concealer. And this is the hydrating one. Sorry, starting to separate a little bit, but... This one's too light for me, this one's too dark for me. I mix them together um, and create my perfect shade and there are two different formulas. This one's definitely more matte and full coverage. This one's more creamy and like, um, this is also, I wouldn't say full coverage, but it is a little bit less than this. They're both full coverage in my opinion, but this one's a little bit less than that one. So I'm keeping these because I mix them together. Um, yeah. And then, oh gosh, it's getting difficult. I'm decluttering these Juvia Place ones because these are so huge and I have to mix them. So I don't mind keeping stuff like this, you know, and I have to mix them. Like this is about as big as I want. I'm pretty sure I can use this in the winter and this one in the summer by themselves. Um, so there is times and a place. These I cannot use by themselves. Um, this one's the wrong undertone for me. And this one is just too dark. It actually doesn't look too dark, does it? I don't know. This one just pulls too dark on my skin tone. Um, <clears throat> the shade 18 and the shade 20. This one's way, 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 way too light. Um, I don't know. Can I use this one by itself? I don't remember how I felt. No, yeah. It's way darker in the bottle. So, yeah. I don't know. I just, these didn't work for me. Um, the formula was nice. They're just the shades. I could not get them to work for me. I had to mix them and then I just still wasn't in love with it. So um, they were just too much work and they're too bulky. If they made like smaller versions of this, I would totally be fine with mixing them. Like I have to, sorry about the sounds, but I have to mix my e.l.f. ones. I have to mix my Fenty Beauty ones. I have this shade, I bought the shade 185 first and then I bought the shade 210 later to mix. And these mixed together are a really good shade for me. So mixing them, I don't mind. It's the, I feel like these are just too bulky and just too much to work with. <sighs> if they were smaller, I would be okay with working with them. But they're just so huge and take up so much room. Um, I think I'm going to have to go ahead and declutter them. But they're not bad at all. If you can find a good shade for yourself, I feel like you'll like it. They're, they're a really good formula. It's just too big, too bulky, I don't have the room. Um, they're just other ones I gravitate towards more. Um, this uh, Makeup Forever, this is a new edition. I bought this, I wanna say in November. Um, it is a little dark for me, I got the shade 2.6, but I think it'll be a great shade for me in the summer. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one. It's a good, very matte formula. Oh, and I also have my NARS Ready Concealer. I use this for my acne, not so much um, for my under eyes. The rest of these I use for my under eyes. And just to add a little brightening. Um, this is the Flower Beauty Light Shade in 3-4. I like this. This is a very nice medium coverage um, concealer for me. Um, a lot of people say this one's full coverage. I don't get full coverage from this. It's just a nice medium coverage. Like, sharp tape... Uh, Tar Shape Tape, and then the Kaja, and then this one's like a definite medium coverage for me, which I sometimes like medium coverage, but it's definitely not full. The other one I'm getting rid of is this Wet n Wild one. It's just not my favorite. The 
Um, it's a little dark for me. Um, so the undertone's a little neutral leaning pink. So the undertone doesn't really work for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that one as well. This dose of color one, I think it's like super, it doesn't look as light in the thing. It looks super light on the outside, but once you open it, it looks darker. So I don't know, I'm gonna go ahead and try this again and see if this is worth keeping or not. Um, if it's too light for me, I need to get rid of it. But for now, I'm just gonna keep it and see how I can incorporate it. This is a CoverGirl Golden Natural. I don't remember what, how I felt about these. And this is the L'Oreal in the shade Vanilla. So this one looks a little light. This one looks a little um, like pinky. But I'm going to try and see if how I feel about these. I think I only used them once and I can't remember how I felt about them. Maybe they were just meh, you know, concealers. Um, this Joy one is kind of in the similar boat. I have the shade Creme Brulee. Um, I don't remember how I felt about this, so I'm going to keep it and then try it and figure it out. Um, and hopefully in my next Decluttered, I will have tried some of these and kind of have better ideas about them. These, um, the shades were just off for me. C6 is a little light for me. Um, C8.5 is just not... I don't know, I tried liking it. They say it's like a dupe for the, oh my gosh, I wanna say the Tarte Shape Tape, but I feel like this one was a little more watery and liquidy and was not like the dupe, so um, I don't know. And then the cream one, the Conceal and Hydrate, um, the shade was just meh, I don't know. I just, just never really gravitated towards them. And then one of my favorite, favorite, favorite concealers. This is the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer by Too Faced. I love this one. This is in the shade Vanilla. Um, this one is pretty up there with my Tarte Shape Tape. My Tarte, my Tarte Shape Tape is hands down my favorite concealer. This one comes second. Kaja is third. <laughs> like, it is my absolute fave. And those are my top three, like, Nothing else, in my opinion, compares. I'm so sorry that they're all high-end, but I don't know. I just, I don't know. They're just my favorite. I mean, it's just the best. Um, This uh, ColourPop, eh, it's, it's okay. It's meh. It's not really my favorite. It's just a decent concealer. It's not anything special. You do not need to go run out and get it. It's just an okay concealer so yeah oh my gosh I'm so disappointed in myself that's all I decluttered no <laughs> I only decluttered um this is only eight concealers oh gosh I feel like I need to declutter more I feel like I have too many concealers still Ooh. Okay, so no, I think I'm happy with, okay, I'm going to go ahead and just declutter eight. I wanted to kind of force myself to declutter like two more and call it ten. But there's a lot of these I'm not sure about. Like the ColourPop, it's meh. But I mean, I just got it, so I want to, you know, keep playing with it. Um, There's other ones that I'm not sure about. The CoverGirl one, the L'Oreal one, um, the e.l.f. ones. I'm trying to like still see if I want to keep them, if they're worth keeping, even though... I do like them, but I do gravitate towards more of my high-end ones. Um, so I feel good about eight, and then come June or around the mid-year mark, because I'm like already behind on all my declutters. Um, come June, around that area, I'll hopefully have a better idea of what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of, and we'll declutter a few more then. But I feel like eight is a good amount. I should be happy with this. I know I wish it was more, but... I think it's fair. It's fair. I'm happy with what I'm keeping. So, and then I get to play around with it. So, all right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.